In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about NoFap, why you begin to attract all beings. Number one reason why you begin to attract all beings when you go on NoFap is because you are full. Repeat after me, because you are full. What does this mean? This means because of your quote unquote swollen nutsack, you are more in alignment with life. How does this even make any sense and why is this even true? Are there even any claims to back this up? What I am trying to say on a metaphysical standpoint, when you have released, you're out of alignment with life. You might, because this is what starts to happen, there might become fatigue, you might feel tired, you might feel unmotivated, you might feel pessimistic, you might feel intimidated, you might feel paranoid when you have fat. These, some of these are the characteristics that happen to you when you may have fat recently. It just happens because you have no masculine essence in you anymore. All the masculine essence that was in you is thrown out. So now you just, you're a body, but you're empty body. And because you're an empty body, you're out of alignment with life. Now, if you do the opposite of this and you retain, you go on no fat, you do these things, what tar starts to happen to you is you become in alignment with life because you have one, you have masculine energy, you have masculine essence, you feel a bit more confident, you feel a bit more masculine, you feel more direct. And because of this, this is when you attract more things to you. This is when you attract the better opportunities. It doesn't necessarily just come as you just, it, com it comes out of nowhere and you attract it. it. It usually comes at you when you just, when you go after it because now you just have more masculine essence and masculine energy to just go after things. You have the ability to act in a certain way to make you more attractive to people to offer you things. Maybe it's a job interview, maybe it's a spouse partner. You just become this super masculine dude with masculine essence. And this is why you attract all things, all beings. This is what you have to realize. So when you fat recently, you relapse recently, you're out of alignment with life because you life in, in a certain state state the whole the quote unquote world is meant for you to be strong it's meant for you to be direct this is how these are the plans the most high had for you for you to be a strong masculine man for you to pray without ceasing you have to realize what these terms mean pray without ceasing this means that pray and you have expectancy that you are going to get it you're not entitled to anything but you have belief and faith that you have it this does not respond to weak suggestions unbelief does not respond to it responds to masculine direction and asking without ceasing this is what you have to realize so be, once you're starting to embody, embody these characteristics all things that will start be alignment for you you're gonna get the things that you need maybe it's you're looking for a job you're gonna get that job maybe it's a partner you're gonna attract a partner that's compatible with you you're gonna get all the good things that you need to live your your life to the fullest these are things that are already meant for you. You're gonna get that partner. You're gonna get all these different things that you need. So there's no, with all this whole pessimistic attitude, unbelief, that needs to be thrown out the window because that's not truly who you are. The reason why people act like this and are so paranoid, afraid, all these things is because of what society has told you. Uh, society has told you and sold you that you need to be fearful. All these different things are gonna happen, so you have to be fearful in all these different things. This is what you're telling you. Because they're selling you fear, you're acting out on fear, and you cannot act like this. You have to have faith, you have to have belief. There's two types of mindsets that you can start entertaining in this world. The competitive mindset and the creative mindset. The competitive mindset means that you're, there's, you're in the realm of competition, meaning it's a zero-sum game. You have to take from others to get something. Outside circumstances are going to control your, your wealth creation, meaning like the stock market, the economy. They're talking about the economy, all these different factors that you cannot control. This is what they're telling you. These are, these are the things that they're telling you to be afraid of. Based off whoever is in political power is your ability to generate wealth. You're generating to get ahead, get a better life for yourself. Whoever is in political party is who's going to dictate whether you're about to allow to, you know, create income for yourself. This is what you have been sold. So you have to have this belief. You can be hindered based off who is the political party, who is being the person who is at the top. Now, there's uh, there's another mindset that you can you can live your life from. And this is the creative mindset. The creative mindset. And this is what I am recommending that you follow because this is going to get you in places that you never thought before this mindset allows you to think exactly how you want your life to be and for it to actually happen and it doesn't take into account who's in political party 
how the economy looks like, the housing market, all these different things that is supposed to hinder you. I know people who are getting wealthy, tough economic times do not hinder you. These are, they're not going to give you, they're not gonna allow you to be you winning and you not winning. Your mindset is what's going to allow you to win. This is what you have to realize. This is, this is actually what you have to take into account. Your mindset, your mindset and the ability that you can get what you want regardless of what is currently happening in this reality. This is where faith comes from. You have a thought of something that you want. Maybe it's a new place. Maybe it's a new car. Maybe it's a significant other. Something that you actually want. Maybe it's a sum of money that you want to have in the next three to six months. You keep this picture in your mind and now you go about your day accordingly and opportunities will allow themselves to you in order for you to generate this amount of money, regardless of how the economy economy is. So this is what you have to realize. It may sound crazy, but this is how life works. You're doing this all the time. You just don't realize it. Your life is literally going in accordance to your dominant thought process. Where, wherever you are right now, whatever your situation is, is based off your past beliefs, thoughts, and actions. Whatever job you're having right now is based off actions in the past, beliefs you had in the past. So knowing this, you can actually get where you want. You just have to not be so scared that it's not going to happen. This is what you have to realize. You got to realize this. This is how you actually get ahead. So the bottom line is you're gonna attract all different things. You're gonna attract animals. You're gonna attract children. You're gonna attract the best things for you because you're in alignment with life. You're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling masculine. You're feeling ready about your life. And now you're, about, you're taking life by the horns and you're narrowing, going through your path, getting exactly what you need, what you have, what you need at all times. So when people say that, oh, you're doing too much for yourself, you're self-serving, you're arrogant and all these different things. Realize this is your this is life's intention. Your life's intention is to help you get the things that you need to go through life. It wouldn't make sense for you not to get these things because you need them for your life mission and your life goal. This is what you have to realize. So you have to lay off the pessimism, the mediocre talk, the lack talk. All these things are not intended for you. They're man-made restraints to help you, to keep you down. You are supposed to be free. You are human, you're supposed to be free to roam to think how you want to think so the bottom line, so and the thing is like no fab definitely helps you makes you like your true self authentically this is why you can there's people there's a correlation between people who are defending fapping regularly and them not being like where they want to be they have nasally voices they're not getting the things that they need done they're pessimistic they're behind they're earning less than they can be they're not doing the things that they need to be doing they have this pessimism in their life and because of this that's a mystic attitude. This is what is making them not actually get the things that they want. This is what you have to realize. In, talk, in terms of attracting your ideal partner, these, that thing will come to you at the perfect time. You just have to work steadily towards it. And you have belief that it's already yours. It's coming at the perfect time. If you were to make delivery on a catalog, you would not be paranoid if it's coming or not. You would already know it's coming and you would be allowing, you would be waiting in expectancy it to come to switch you have to realize about your desires with that being said like comment subscribe to the channel we'll see you in the next one